back, baby. Scored a seventh round knockout against Damasone, an Italian fighter, 19 and 0, but with only five knockouts. So this was a perfect opponent to come out from a about a year layoff from a broken jaw. So this guy presented very little danger to that because another broken jaw could probably end his career. And you want to try it out, see how he feels, see how see how he feels also with his new trainer Eddie Reynoso. And I think this will extend his career for at least a couple of years because it looks that it looks like Eddie Reynoso is working with him to become a more patient fighter. A guy that jabs more. We already saw with the quick that he could move around, that he could jab, that he could box. But now I saw Valdez that doesn't throw home runs, doesn't try to uh, swing for home runs. I don't know much about baseball, guys. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't try to swing for home runs with every punch he throws. And that's a good thing. And if he did that, he might have been able to knock out this guy a little early because he did it take seven rounds to knock this guy out, but he looked more patient. He looked that he was okay with not knocking him out just yet. That he was okay with letting it come. He was okay with that. Yes, he did throw with bad intentions when it was time when he had him hurt in the fourth, in the sixth, and then in the seventh he just came, knocked him out with that uppercut. But I think Eddie also is good. It's a good move. It's a good move for him. And I hope it just adds to his skill set. He's already a skilled fighter. He's already a very exciting fighter that I love to see. One of my favorite fighters to watch fight. But it maybe this will add years to his career and this will really get him to the next level. He said he wanted to fight Carl Frampton. Carl Frampton is another level. Scott Quigg broke his jaw and Carl Frampton beat Scott Quigg. So, so um, that's another level. As he gets up in level, he needed a better trainer and that's what he got. Another card, Richard Comey, man. Second round knockout. Now, I really hadn't heard about this guy. I heard he lost to Easter. And, ah, who did he lose to? I can't pronounce the name of the other guy. But they they were pretty good fighters. And I heard they were close decisions. So I was like, okay, hopefully this guy could win. Because I always root for uh, countries that don't have a lot of champions. So I root for <clears throat> guys from Africa. From maybe Japan, I know Japan has a lot of of uh, champions, but I still root for the Japanese guys. I just love worldwide boxing, and that's why I watch boxing. One of the reasons that I watch boxing and love boxing because it it goes through all cultures of the world. No matter where you are, if you have a pair of gloves, you can settle this problem. We can talk in the language of boxing, <laughs> and that's one of the reasons I I go for. My fighters from Ghana, because Suma Nelson, um, Aikarte, Agbeko, um, Kaladi, of all those guys. So, Dog Dogbe. So glad to see another champion. Brutal knockout. They say he want. They want to see him against Lomachenko. He's IBF champion. Hey, let's get a unification going. So a very good night of boxing. Very exciting night. Let's see. I think we got we got three knockouts, satisfying knockouts, and a very surprising main event in Kovalev Alvarez. So I'm satisfied. Huh? ESPN, ESPN, you did a good job today. Thank you guys for watching my videos, and you have a great day.